This video is brought to you by Skillshare, an online learning community that offers thousands of inspiring and perfectly curated classes on multiple topics, including illustration, design, photography, video, freelancing, and much more, and helps creative and curious people all over the world to explore new skills and to take the next step in their creative journey. I will tell you more about the classes I took on Skillshare this week later in this video and now let's go and repaint some dolls! Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel! Well, guys, today we're going to continue working on my Disney Princess doll collection. There are actually very few characters left to make in a doll form. And today we're going to make actually one of the OG Disney Princess. We're going to make a Sleeping Beauty Aurora doll. And, you know, I, I was waiting with this project for a very long time, honestly, because this is not my favorite Disney princess. I don't know, she's very cute. Yes, I think Aurora is extremely pretty. She's really so classy. She's absolutely fantastic. But at the same time, she's kind of a little bit lacking character, if you can say so, like in charisma. Also, this story is not that original in some way, because when I'm thinking about the Sleeping Beauty, I'm immediately thinking like, oh yeah, this is the one that fell asleep after eating the poisoned apple. And then like, ah, no, 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 this is the one that pricked her finger. Yeah, 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 right. So, you know, I have watched all these OG Disney movies back in the 90s as a kid, in the early 90s. So right now, strangely enough, the story of the Sleeping Beauty kind of got mixed with all the other stories. At least like with the Snow White and with Cinderella, she's kind of, I don't know, mixed all together. But you know, a couple of weeks ago, one of you gave me an absolutely brilliant idea in the comments under some video, under one of my videos, to make uh, the Sleeping Beauty doll from the position of this pink or blue scene. If you remember this episode, these two good fairies, what were they, Flora and Meriwether, probably, yeah, it were these two, they were fighting about the color of uh, the Aurora's dress. They made it like out of some scraps and then they started to repaint it. And one thought it should be pink and another one thought it must be blue. And I immediately thought, yes, this is it. This is such a brilliant idea. This is a perfect way for me to make a Sleeping Beauty doll and to make her like, I don't know, not boring. Because of course you can make just a pretty girl in a pink dress, blonde girl in a pink dress and that's it. But I wanted to make something more fun and that was the fun idea that I really loved. So I immediately asked my mom to make a dress for her like trying to make it half pink, half blue, because what I'm going to make today, I'm going to make a Sleeping Beauty doll in the moment when her dress was changing from pink to blue and vice versa. So this is the idea in the nutshell. I think we should start working because I have there still some other idea what we could make and it would require really a lot of time. So I better stop here talking, start working and you guys please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Of course hit the bell button to get notified about my new doll repaint videos. The next one will be in two weeks uh, Friday because I already see my planning how it's gonna go. So yeah, and of course support my art here on YouTube with your likes, if you think that I deserve it. <laughs> so now let's start working, guys. So this is the doll we will customize today. She has kind of similar face shape to Aurora with these cheekbones. I think they both have kind of less round faces. So I think she will be perfect Aurora for this project. So now let's go through all these steps, preparing the doll for the makeover. You know, there is nothing exotic in it today. So I will go very quickly through the preparation because I have, I don't know, kind of more exciting things to show you today.
Okay, the canvas is clean and now we should give her new hair. She will be blonde, of course, and that's why I start with painting her head with light acrylics. And when the paint is dry, I can take my rerouting tool and I give her new beautiful blonde hair. Okay, her hair is finished and you know I kind of already can't predict how much I'm going to suffer styling her bangs later. I really hate doing it, but sometimes I have no choice, so I <laughs> will think about it tomorrow. And right now let's add glue inside of the head and when it gets fully dry I will spray her face with Mr. Super Clear sealant and then we'll start drawing her face. Actually, I begin with covering her face with two layers of kind of yellowish nude acrylics. It will remove her original skin tone. And after this, we will sketch her face using watercolor pencils. I want to make her look a little bit surprised because you know she's supposed to be caught in the moment when her dress would be changing the color from pink to blue or vice versa. So we draw bigger eyes, the eyebrows will also go up, you know, like surprised eyebrows and the mouth also will be slightly open. I want to keep her face very cute and very gentle because I think Aurora is very pretty. To me she has kind of Grey Skelly type of beauty. So I don't want to make her too cartoonish or too colorful. I think she should rather stay very classy. I want to draw lashes today because I think falsies would take, I don't know, kind of too much attention away from her eyes. It would look too heavy on her face. Okay, now I think this part of the makeover is finished. She looks super cute. I really loved working on her today. And now let's quickly blush her body because they look quite different right now. And after this, we will move on to the outfit. So in the body blushing process, you have seen also multiple times on my channel. I'm sanding it with nail buffers, spraying it with Mr. Super Clear, and then applying the same pastels like we've just applied to her face. Thank you. 
My mom is making the dress today and you know it's gonna be a really huge dress this time with a beautiful big skirt and my mom is starting with making a beautiful ruffled underskirt for it to keep all this construction to make it even bigger and fluffier and of course the biggest challenge here was to combine blue and pink colors in one dress and it looks like my mom is really into fabric dyeing right now. The last week she painted flowers on green fabric for my disgust doll. And this time she has dyed the entire piece of natural silk by hand to create this pink to blue gradient. And you know, there exist different interpretations of Aurora dress. People experiment especially heavily with the decoration around the shoulders and also with the one around her waistline. There are really multiple variations online, but we've decided to stick to the original design from the movie with these white pointy things. So here is the finished dress, it looks absolutely gorgeous, check it out, this silk feels absolutely fantastic, it's very pretty, very heavy and this gradient looks absolutely gorgeous, really perfect. We can probably put it on a doll and then we'll make a crown and a pair of shoes for her and then we'll make also something else, you know, like something special. So first of all, let's make a crown using my 3D printer. I've bought also a new resin. It's supposed to be water washable and also rapid. So I don't know, it would solve all my problems that I have with this 3D printing process because I really don't like that you have to use this stinky acetone to wash the models. And I also hate the stickiness of regular resin. Yeah, and plus I really hate the 3D printing takes a long time, really hours and hours and hours, and you have to wait really for a very, very long time every time. So, and this new resin normally is supposed to be water washable without smell and without stickiness, and it's also super rapid curing. So, sounds like a dream. Let's check it out. You know, I have found lots of different designs of the Aurora crown online, I mean the 3D models. I've printed different designs to have some choice because you never know how these 3D models would look if you scale them to a doll size. And as you can see, many of them are indeed too thin and weak because normally they're supposed to be, you know, normal human head size and then they would be much thicker and now we scale them down so much and they became very like weak and thin the the walls of these crowns are very thin but i still have two very good ones so i will work with them they're absolutely perfect and now i'm gonna wash them with rubbing alcohol and then i will cure it with uv light I'm extremely happy with the resin, it really does everything what it claims. No smell, not sticky, printed my stuff in 50 minutes instead of 1 hour and 50 minutes with my old resin and no toxic acetone needed to wash it. Really love this product and I hope they have more colors of resin in this formula, I should check it out online. So, and I will cover the crown with a layer of this product, with this leaf in size. It will make the surface sticky as a tape, it even smells like tape, by the way. And then I will rub golden metallic powder into it.
I apply a layer of glossy varnish on top and check it out. I think it looks super legit, really. We will put it later on the doll's head and right now let's make shoes for her out of warbler thermoplastic, of course. And I start like always with building a pair of basic shoes. I warm the thermoplastic with my hair dryer, it becomes soft and sticky, so I can form shoes out of it, and then it cools down and becomes very hard like a regular plastic again. Okay, here are the shoes and now let's cover them with a layer with this sticky leaf size again. And then I take pink and blue metallic powders and I'm creating a gradient because you know I think the fairies would be changing the color of her shoes as well, not just the dress because the blue dress would require blue shoes and the pink dress would need an, a pink pair. So let's make it, let's try to create a gradient. And let's also add some golden details to match the shoes to the crown. And check it out, the shoes look really cute and I think they really match the dress perfectly. So thank you very much, this step is also finished. Let's move on. And you're thinking probably that we're almost done, guys, for today. Yes? No, 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 we're not done at all. Because I've decided to make also the two good fairy dolls. The Meriwether and the Flora dolls. Because I really want to recreate this scene completely. Otherwise it would be maybe a little bit, I don't know, not that cool. Just Aurora standing in this half blue, half pink dress. But if we had two good fairies, one pink and one blue, like fighting over the color of this dress, I think it would kind of pull the whole project a little bit to another level. So I've prepared here a bunch of LOL dolls to unbox. I think I would make them out of LOL dolls, like really two tiny fairies. Uh, I've bought them really a long time ago, these LOL dolls, they were on sale, something like pay to get three or something like this. So 
I have probably five of them and of course my dream <laughs> would be to find two identical dolls because these two fairies they're kind of twins or at least like siblings they look very similar so it would be absolutely perfect for me to find two dolls at least with similar skin tone or with some I don't know similar hair color something like this because it would of course make my life much easier otherwise I have to again reroute the doll or paint their skin uh, to make it the same so my dream is to find two identical dolls I have approximately five chances so let's see where it will lead us. It's normally very exciting unboxing this LOL doll, so let's go! <laughs> and what we've got in the first one? <laughs> Elvis, guys, it's clearly Elvis, it's an Elvis doll, so funny, but you know, I think this is a boy, <laughs> this is clearly a boy, gosh, I don't know, this is hilarious, I didn't know LOL dolls were that details, so at the first they're making dolls like this, and then I'm afraid of getting demonetized, we'll have to blur it or what, <laughs> really, this is very funny. So, the mini Elvis is super adorable, but I don't think he's the best candidate to become a good fairy. At least I'm not really ready to perform an Elvis gender transition in this video. So I think we will keep him for another project and meanwhile we will keep unboxing. Well guys, here is another doll, she's extremely cute, her hair is just everything, but I don't think I will repaint her today because this is actually an ultra rare doll. The Elvis one was a regular one, I'm not really a doll collector, you know, but as a doll lover I don't feel fully comfortable about destroying an ultra rare doll. So, I think I will keep her in my collection as well, yeah, and we'll keep unboxing, I guess. I have three unopened dolls left, and I still need two of them, I don't know. I start getting worried, but anyway, it's very exciting at the same time. So, guys, which one is gonna be? Oh, super, yes, this one is perfect. I've already repainted one of them in the past, this is not ultra rare or nothing, so I think she's just perfect for this project, I really love her skin tone, I really love her hair, so the model number one is here. Okay, yes, this is the model number one, I'm very happy, so now let's unbox another one, and I have just two left. And 
and guys <laughs> I really worried about it and it's the same one Lucky me! Oh my god, what a nerve-wracking journey it was! Unbelievable, really. What a lottery! But now I'm more than happy, guys. I've got my twin girls. They give me serious The Shining Twins vibes when I put them together. But yeah, they're super cute. I'm really happy. They have the same skin tone. They have the same hair color. So I can just draw new faces and make outfits and I don't know, this is gonna save me really a lot of time that I don't have to give them new hair and that I don't have to like spray them with airbrush trying to change their skin tones. So now we can remove their faces with acetone, spray it all with Mr. Super Clear and then we'll draw the new faces. The faces will be pretty much the same, so I will show just one of them at a time and you know, I still want to make them slightly different anyway. That's why one of them will have green eyes and another one will be with blue eyes. But actually, before we draw all the blue and green eyes, please let me tell you more about the sponsor of this episode, Skillshare, and about the new things that I've learned lately on this platform. And last time, if you remember, I learned the digital marbling technique with Rich Armstrong, and that was real art therapy for me. So in this time, I've decided to learn how to make seamless patterns in Procreate, and I took this class called Create an Intricate Editable Floral Pattern in Procreate by DOD. I was looking at this class for a very long time already, but I was kind of thinking it might be too complicated because this pattern that, that Nina is showing how to make in this class, it looks kind of way too cool for a person who never worked with patterns before. But it was actually very interesting and extremely useful. Check out my first completely hand-drawn seamless pattern made in Procreate. I tried it in different color variations, in different sizes, really super fun. Now I can really make all kinds of patterns myself. I can transfer them on fabric and I can make doll dresses out of it. Sounds really fun, I don't know, I think we should try it really soon in one of my next projects because I'm pretty excited about this idea. I don't know, I feel like I've unlocked a new skill with this class and yeah, this is actually what Skillshare is about. It's about unlocking new skills. And yes, Skillshare Premium Membership costs less than $10 a month with an annual subscription, but you can actually try it for free and decide later if you want to continue it, because the first thousand of my subscribers, to click the link in the description box under this video, will get a free trial of Premium Membership. So you can test it, you can check it, you can explore your creativity. So, and now let's grab pencils, pastels, and let's go repaint those LOL dolls.
Okay, this is it. Here are the girls together. They look super adorable. Really love them. So now let's make their bodies and make all these fairy outfits out of Warbler Thermoplastic. And you know, I want to make these outfits on the pictures because I think they would look cuter and more like fairy-like in our case than the other household outfits from the same characters. And after making the dresses, I want to make two wizard hats as well. So this is what I've ended up making, really super cute tiny outfits plus the hats. Now let's paint them I guess and one of them will be pink and another one will be blue of course.
And now I think I still want to add some silver details to the blue outfits and to the pink outfits I will add some golden details, I guess, to make it all look more interesting. Okay guys, we're almost there, but I still want to make wings out of this foil. Okay, the bodies are finished, now let's go back to the heads and style their hair. And I actually really love their ponytails, I just want to refresh it all a little bit and make the curls a little bit fluffier. So this is their hair, it looks really cute I think, so now I can finally put the hats on and wrap some white mesh around it like on the pictures. Oh guys, that's it, that's it, our good fairies are finished, they're completely ready for the final blue or pink battle, but our project is not finished yet, because we still need to style Aurora's hair. First of all, we need to make her hair hand down in a pretty way, for this I will use hot air of my hair dryer. And for the bangs, I'm going to use actually the technique that 5 minute crafts showed in their hacks, but they fake the end result, like always. I laughed really hard at it in my debunking video, and it's actually double funny, because this is a working trick, curling doll hair with a spoolie brush. It's not super easy, because doll hair doesn't want to stay curled around the brush, but once you got there, it perfectly works, really, it's a beautiful hack. But of course, just showing a different doll with the factory made bangs as an end result is much easier than actually curling doll bangs with this thing. So, I think it's really very funny. Five minute crafts, you probably have no idea, but your trick works. You had absolutely no reason to lie in your video. So this is the bangs and I'm actually very happy about it, I think it looks really decent. So now let's take a hair curler and make more curls.
You know, I've also ended up wrapping her hair with the kitchen plastic and letting it like this overnight. And you can see immediately it made everything even more flat. So right now I'm really happy with the end result. I think her hair looks absolutely beautiful. So now I guess I can attach the crown to the hat, to this finished hairstyle. And then we'll be able to take a look at the end result pictures. Yes, we finished everything, I guess. I forgot nothing. So this is finally the end result of this huge project, really it took me quite a long time to finish all the dolls and all the details and I worked approximately non-stop for the last seven days but yeah, I'm so satisfied now seeing the end result that I'm kinda ready to forget and forgive all the hard work I put into it but I'm gonna take a couple of days off after making this video I could really enjoy a short break after this working marathon for a week but anyway, all the dolls look stunning. I've never repainted so many dolls in one project, in one video. It's a real three-in-one makeover today. Deserves a like, I think. And I'm especially happy about the bangs because I was worrying about it for a long time. I, I was absolutely not sure that it would end up good, but right now I absolutely enjoy her hair and the bangs really super. The LOL dolls look epic. It's been actually a while since I repainted them and it was really nice to play with them again. Well, an unboxing, <laughs> that was some crazy ride, really. Remember, first a boy, then an ultra rare, and then two identical dolls. That was crazy, really enjoyed it. Her dress also looks like a dream. My mom did a fantastic job again this time. So, and that was it for me today. Now it's your time to tell me everything you think about this project, about all these dolls. And what is your choice, by the way? Blue or pink? On which side are you? <laughs> And also, please tell me what should be the next Disney princess to repaint for me. We have just a couple of them left. We have Pocahontas, we have Belle, and we have Ariel, I think. That's it, yeah. The rest I've made, I think. So, and these dolls are now for sale on eBay, like always. Please check out the link in the description box under this video if you need these three ladies in your life. So guys, and that was my doll transformation of the week. I really hope you've enjoyed it today. And if so, please don't forget to support my art here on YouTube with your likes. Of course, subscribe to my channel, hit the bell button, and I will see you already very soon, normally in two weeks, on Friday, in my new doll repaint video. Love you guys. Have a nice weekend. Bye.